Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. And for more information and for downloading the source code of MATLAB program, you can visit to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will learn about how to tune a PID controller in MATLAB. As obviously as for the control engineers, tuning of an PID controller for a particular process is very tedious task. So MATLAB comes up with an interesting tool for tuning uh, such PID controllers. So open MATLAB. In MATLAB, let's first define a transfer function or, or let's first define a system through a transfer function and as domain for defining a transfer function we'll type s equals to tf so it is creating a object s of transfer function type and let's define now the system so 1 divided by s square plus 10 s plus 20 so it is defining a system uh, by this transfer function and let's say how its step response uh, looks like because the step response gives the feel like uh, how a system will behave when a particular input will apply to it of magnitude 1 so let's say step of system uh, so this is the step response and uh, it is very clearly visible the maximum value if we apply a 1 to the input maximum value is reaching to the 0 0.05 so if we try to uh, use this uh, this system in an open loop uh, for a reference tracking that then it is not going to reference or track the reference point so obviously we need a controller uh, or which can uh, provide sufficiently or uh, sufficient input to the system so that it can track the reference that means if we apply a single input of one amplitude so the system should also give the one at the output so obviously we will use a PID controller and we all know how to design a PID controller but the problem with the PID controller is the coefficients of KP, KI and KD that means pro proportional coefficient, derivative and integral coefficient. Now if we look at the PID controller here and for the images so we need to have this uh, uh, this uh, PID control consists of these three parts proportional, integral, and derivative. Where all these portions are summed up and goes to the process. So, it is an example of a closed loop system. I hope you all know the theory of it. So, MATLAB comes up with a tuner application through which we can easily tune our system. So, this is the tuner application PID tuner in MATLAB apps section. Click on it, a new window will open up. Let's wait for the window. Yes. So, in this window, this system uh, response of the system is given for a by default plant. So, uh, our system has been, uh, we have defined our system in MATLAB command window. So, we need to import it. Go to the import and then system and then import. Our system import has been done and this uh, second type shows uh, like which type of controller it, uh, we are going to use like P uh, right now it is P type we can select I integral type PI PD or PID so we are going to select PID controller and uh, currently have two plots blue line and green line so we can go to plants and deselect this plant now it is uh, uh, we are getting the response only of uh, our uh, present system we can add further the plot or the open loop uh, plot of the system again so this is the same output as that of the we were getting the step that means the open loop response uh, of our system so it is going up to 0 0.05 
so now uh, we have applied PID and we are getting uh, this type of response and correspondingly we are getting the values of KP, KI and KD at the bottom part of this uh, window and we can also see the values of KP and KID from this show parameter window here we will get like what is the value of KP, KI and KD and what is the rise time, settling time and overshoot now we can change this rise time and settling time depending on our requirement like like suppose we need a faster response time uh, of the system we can choose from here from this uh, slope the system response will be faster now it is being settling within the 0.3 second settling time is uh, within 0.3 second but uh, this KP and KI values are not that much fast and again uh, it is also require uh, we can see like the what is the controller effort uh, for the system so if we go for the controller effort then again uh, controller effort is obviously going uh, above uh, this graph so let's Auto properties and then limit auto scale x axis and let's say 100. It's still still the range is out uh, for such type of response uh, now let's say we want to make it a robust kind of thing and uh, we don't want uh, to be the much faster and we can change mm, like These uh, are the system. So um, now we have decided our system to be having these characteristics, and correspondingly, uh, if we are satisfied with the system response, like uh, let's say we want up to 0.5 second the rise time, then these are the values for the corresponding and. Now we can say these are the values of the P, I and D and the response will be like this. Once we know the values of KP, K and KD, uh, we can go further to our design values and we can define KP is equals to value of KP was uh, 152 value of KI is equals to 404 and value of KD is equals to that is 14.32 now let's define our controller that is simply KP plus KI divided by S plus KD into S now we need uh, our closed loop uh, system response or transfer function by command feedback and then uh, our controller because this will go into uh, this will go into the forward part so forward part transfer function will be process transfer function and the controller transfer function so control transfer function is represented by cunt controller and system transfer function was system and feedback gain is one now we can see our system transfer function and this is by putting the values k p k i k d and now let's see what is the system response or the step response of the system after putting these values now this has been improved further now it is going within the one second it is settling to the uh, to our values or to the reference value so obviously the system response have been changed 
and we can also for the reference purpose let's say hold on and strap response of open loop system so on the same plot we'll get this was the open loop and after putting the controller the dynamic response of the system has been improved a lot so matlab comes up with uh, this wonderful tuning application through which you can tune any pid controller uh, and you can find uh, what are the values of kpk ikd before directly implementing it on the hardware so i hope you have learned a lot from this video and in upcoming video we will come up with new topic and uh, with uh, <coughs> a uh, new discussion so that's it for this video thank you and don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel for latest video on this engineering applications and thanks a lot for your time